If you'll recall, you know, President Biden ran on a campaign that he was going to kind of shut down the oil and gas industry in the United States. His first day in office, he took some of the most draconian legislation and, and shut down the Trans-Canada Pipeline, the Keystone Pipeline. And I predicted then, very publicly, this is going to lead to a number of challenges for the United States. Rising costs in manufacturing and transportation, in fertilizer, in cosmetics, in pharmaceuticals. And we will have to rely on other nations for our need of oil and gas. It did not go away. We ended up buying oil and gas from the likes of China and Venezuela and Russia and Iran. And the argument at the time was, well, it's a very small percentage of the overall purchase and the overall amount of oil that we're using. Perhaps true, but that very small percentage for a nation like ours equates to billions of dollars to those nations like Iran. And I'm fearful now, I hate to think about it, but I'm fearful now that perhaps those dollars that we invested in buying oil from those foreign sources and those nations that maybe don't have our best interests at heart are not being used against us. And oftentimes what happens, you know, something in one way or another boils down to the economics and the commercial interests of this nation. And that's one of the examples where I talk about, you know, we need to surely transition to a cleaner environment. Everybody believes that. But we need to do it in a, a sustainable, strategic fashion. The steps that this administration took, they went simply too far and too fast. And this is fear, part of the result of that kind of action. Javier, you should be in the White House advising Joe Biden.